So hello everyone I have the on- pleasure and honor of welcoming with me 23 topper Dr Anshul Gupta he has secured rank of 48 all over India in NEET PG 2023 first of all congratulations heartiest congratulation Anshul and welcome to Dams channel congratulations Dr. thank Anshul. you so much sir so how are you feeling right now uh, sir it feels very good and it feels very uh, positive uh, especially because there is another exam coming in two months and it feels very uh, i feel more confident about giving that exam based on this result so it definitely feels great great it's good to see the positivity in you that you know you have already all set for the inict uh, may exam tell me about yourself anshul where are you graduate from uh, so i have uh, done my mbbs from uh, aims uh, new delhi and i completed my internship in january this year mm-hmm. and i've come back home after that okay so when did you actually start preparing for pg entrance uh so so uh, like i studied up uh, i started studying for pg entrance at the beginning of my internship but uh, like i had uh, uh, i had started studying uh, in the beginning with a lot of zeal but then it sort of died down so i appeared for the remember i nicd and it wasn't that good uh, i got a rank of 715 and after that i restarted my preparation in january this year when my internship was about to end and uh, my goal was to complete at least three cycles of revision before inicet so uh, that is when i started in january this year properly but actually you uh, were preparing during mbbs days also for entrance exam uh, yes sir yes sir i had joined the foundation course at dams and i had started studying from my third year itself uh, started making notes for the final year subjects as well and uh, uh, i had uh, i had also joined the tnd during my internship So those so are the two was, uh, things. So you had a long journey with Ram from third year to final year to TND. So must be a three year course. So in third year yes, when sir. you uh, joined, what all subjects did you attend? I mean third year, final year, or first year, second year? Which subject would did you attend at Dams? Uh, so I remember that the first class I attended was actually uh, a Sukhmeer Sir's radiology class, and uh, it was an amazing session. and that was my first class sir not only we taught radiology in that but he also gave us the kind of boost that we needed the motivation that we needed to uh, keep studying for the next 3 years or so and the next classes i attended were uh, medicine and obstetrics and gynae and uh, uh, both were amazing uh, arvind sir and uh, deepthi ma'am and after that uh, the covid uh, pandemic happened and everything closed off so the sessions converted to online so after that i kind of uh, had a huge gap in preparation but, uh, at that time uh, so i resumed my preparation again during my internship all right so when you resumed your preparation your notes were almost kind of ready third yes, year sir, they were ready for the final year uh, subjects and for the uh, third pro subjects but for the uh, uh, first and second year subjects i made my notes during my internship uh, and uh, i tried to revise them as much as i could but uh, the main revision could happened after completion of internship how did you utilize tnd Uh, so, so the uh, dance TND sessions are uh, good in the sense that uh, the questions asked are of a slightly higher difficulty level, and therefore they allow us to think in a uh, in a different and a, in a creative manner, which is very important uh, to attempt the easy questions in the exam, which appear tough. So it's important to have that calm mind, so that practice. And secondly, the discussions are also very wholesome. They cover all the uh, related 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 topics uh, related to that question, which is uh, more important than attempting the question itself. so uh, that is the reason i really like the dams tnd also i think that it gives you a very concise revision notes for the final uh, uh, leap of your preparation because uh, the main notes are not really revisable at the end so it's important to have a concise source all right so when you when you did the tnd uh, did you follow your uh, own schedule or did you follow the tnd schedule uh, so so i followed my own schedule uh, because uh, i have always felt that uh, the uh, tnd schedule is made like keeping in mind everybody and everybody has different uh, requirements and t- preparation needs to be tailored according to one's weaknesses and strengths so i made my own schedule and i uh, try to stick to it as much as possible and uh, i think the most important part in any pg preparation is to stick to the schedule it's, it's apart from tnd any other thing in dams that you used uh so so uh, i also uh, refer to the dams dvt Uh, especially pharmacology because uh, uh, in pharma it's very important to it's very hard facts based subject so it's important to revise things in a way that you re- tend to remember like with pictures or with mnemonics and uh, i remember attending ferro sir's dvt 
and I think it was really good. It not only covered very high yield and extra edge points from uh, Goodman Gilman, as Sir said in his session, but uh, it also uh, was made in a manner which was very easy to remember with photos and with the slides. So I like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Uh, you have appeared for one INICT in November, and you just cleared uh, NEET uh, 2023 March session. Uh, would you like to give an insight about difference in preparation of NEET and INICT if somebody would like to know from you? Uh, so, yes, sir. So uh, the, there is a, a difference in approach between the two exams, uh, mainly because uh, first of all, NEET tends to focus more on the clinical subjects and the tougher questions are usually asked from the clinical subject. Uh, so it's very important to have a strong hold on medicine, on pediatrics, and of course, surgery and ops and gynae. And also on uh, ENT and Optal and Ortho, all the third and fourth cross subjects. On the other hand, the INICT exam tends to focus more on the first and second year subjects. So it's important to have a good grasp of those subjects. And the clinical subjects tend to be, uh, the clinical questions tend to ultimately refer to the first and second year subjects in case of INICT. So if you have a good hold on first and second year, you can attempt even the clinical questions to a great extent. The second difference is uh, between the time management. So obviously, NEET exam gives you a lot of time. It gives you like 210 minutes for 200 questions. So you get a lot of time to review those answers, and you can put a lot of thought into each question. But in INICT, you have to be smarter. You have to manage your time more efficiently because the exam is giving you only 180 minutes for 200 questions, and the questions are sometimes even more complicated than the NEET questions, having very close options and trying to confuse you with A, B, and C, and D. So it's very, I mean, I've given the paper, so I think I know that uh, the paper is framed in a way that it will take time and you have to be very efficient if you want to complete the paper on time. So those are the two main differences in preparation. Uh, other than that, I think uh, the INICT exam is more PYQ focused than NEET PG. Uh, this time also there were a lot of NEET, uh, NEET PG PYQ repeats, but then uh, the RAND deciding questions tend to be newer and from uh, very, very, very new topics. So uh, that's the case. But in INICT, almost all questions are going to be from previous years. And those which are not are anyway uh, the questions which everybody is going to get, probably read. So that is, those are the differences, I would say. Okay. If anybody is starting uh, the preparation right now from third MBBS, what is your advice to the junior who is just starting the preparation from third MBBS? Uh, so so uh, I would suggest that uh, you should make your uh, main primary notes at this time as much as possible, especially the clinical subjects, but if possible, also the first and second year, if you're able to get time. Uh, what's also important is that wherever you feel that you're not able to get the basic concept behind a certain subject or the field of the subject, it's always advisable to go to a standard textbook and read it at this time because you will not be able to do it later on. And uh, somewhere it does make a difference because it gives you a, a wholesome view of the subject and what it try is trying to convey and which makes learning fast easier later on. The second thing is that uh, at this time, a student should not focus more on uh, learning things, but rather on uh, making their notes ready to learn later. because uh, People tend to get very uh, perfectionistic. Key, uh, everything should be remembered at this point, which is not really possible. All you can do is you can give a good effort, good first reading, but the main learning will happen only towards the end because the uh, human mem memory works like that. You have to, you know, uh, plan it like that. So I would suggest that. And uh, yes, and I, everybody should definitely attend the TND sessions because uh, they are uh, very important not only to give you a practice of question, answering questions, uh, but also uh, giving you a good uh, PYQ coverage and giving you concise risk revision notes for the end. Great. All right. So before we finally conclude this video, any last minute speech from your side, anything you want to say before we conclude, any person you would like to thank? Uh, sir, I would uh, definitely like to thank Dr. Dipti and Dr. Uh, Sumail because uh, I remember I attended uh, Sumail sir's class first, uh, like that was my first class in dance. So these uh, two faculty, I think they not only teach, but they also provide a lot of motivational quotes. And some of those st uh, stick with you. Like uh, Dipti Ma'am once said that uh, you can run out of motivation, but you will always uh, be, you can always rely on discipline. And I think that is very important because at many times we feel that I don't want to study. But see, at that, at that time, you should tell yourself that discipline requires you to study in order to achieve your goals. So I think that is what makes the difference in preparation. Ultimately, because everybody is going to have access to all resources. But what matters is how much effort you're able to put in and how you're able to battle that thought which tells you to not study. So ultimately, the most important thing is to study. That's also. Thank you so much for your views, Dr. Anshul. We wish you all the best for the upcoming INICT exam. And I hope to interview you once again after the INICT May results. Thank, Thank you, you so much for being here. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir.